Hello, Creative Gems. Welcome to Creativity. I'm Sandy, and I'm so happy that you are here with me. Today, I'm going to show you how to make two beautiful high-end looking wall sconce lights using a chopping mat, a place mat, and a dish mat. And the best part is each wall sconce only costs a few dollars and all the materials can be found from the dollar store. I will list out all the materials and if you would like, you can also visit my blog site at creativity.com for all the details including tips and tricks as well as links to my Amazon store where you can purchase some of my favorite craft tools and materials if you are unable to find them at your local dollar store. If you enjoy glam home decor and DIY crafts on a budget, I would also love it if you would support my channel by hitting the subscribe button so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. To begin, I will show you the materials. All the materials were found at Dollar Tree unless otherwise stated. For each wall sconce, we will need one rectangular picture frame. The one I'm using is 4x6. It can be of any style as we will only be using the backing of the frame and not the frame itself. We will also need one plastic chopping mat for each wall sconce. The ones from Dollar Tree come in a pack of two. One of the wall sconces will require a silver place mat and the other a clear see-through dish mat. We will also need some jewel crop it stickers or diamond wrap, whatever you have on hand. We will also need a light source. You can either use the battery operated LED push button lights, fairy lights, or the string lights I'll be using for one of my wall sconces is from Amazon. I purchased the string lights in bulk and they worked out to be about a dollar a piece, batteries included. As per many of my craft projects, we will also need some fix-all and some hot glue. My glue gun is from Amazon. To begin, we will disassemble the frame by removing the backing. Then gently remove the leg since we won't be needing it. Set everything aside except for the backing. The backing will be used to hang the wall sconce onto the wall just like you would if you were to hang a regular picture frame. Our next step is to take one of the plastic chopping mats and on either end, fold over about three quarters of an inch. For this step, take your time so that each fold on each end is done straight and firmly. Next, apply some Fix-All and some hot glue to either lengths of the picture frame backing and then adhere it to the inner fold of the chopping mat for each end.
To create the front face of the wall sconce, use some hot glue to adhere the silver placemat to the chopping mat. To further embellish the wall sconce, you can opt to add some gem stickers like I have to the top and bottom edges of the silver placemat. The last step is to unwind the string lights and place them inside the wall sconce. You can use some scotch tape to tape the string lights down to ensure an even distribution of the lights. And there you have it, our first wall sconce is completed. This wall sconce is both beautiful and functional. For our second wall sconce, we repeat the same process to measure out three quarters of an inch from either ends of the chopping mat, and then adhere the picture frame cardboard backing to it with some Fix-All and hot glue. Then, to embellish the front cover of the wall sconce, we will use some hot glue to adhere the clear dish mat to it. Next, we add some rhinestone mesh to either sides of the wall sconce.
To amp up the bling factor, add rows of gem stickers to the front as well. When you're done with the embellishments, take one or two of the LED push button lights and adhere it to the inside part of the wall sconce, directly onto the cardboard backing. And there you have it, our second wall sconce is complete. I can't decide which one I like better. Comment down below and let me know if you prefer the first wall sconce or the second one. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel and share with other creative gems. Also, remember to hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload another DIY glam project. I hope to see you all soon! Mm -hmm.